This is a demo on how to use the multimeter to measure current in a circuit. So now below here we have a circuit set up. We have our 6 volt power supply connected across the 100 ohm resistor. So first thing we'll do is we'll put some voltage across our resistor. So we're set on plus 6 volts. Now say we'll put 1 volt across there. Okay, so we have 1 volt going across our 100 ohm resistor. Now, if we want to measure the current of it, the, the circuit right there, there's two ways we could do it. We could just use or trust the ammeter on the power supply right there, and it's saying that there's 10 milliamps going through there, which makes sense because we have 1 volt being dropped across 100 ohms. So 100 divided, or 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.01, so everything is good. But say the circuit that you're measuring doesn't have an ammeter built into it. So you could use the multimeter up here to measure the current through the circuit. So the first thing you do is you set the uh, function to measure current. So we use the, uh, the DC current right there. In order to use the blue functions, you need to press the shift button. So we press the shift button, and now we're in current measuring mode. So it's saying that we're measuring milliamps DC on the meter. So in order to measure current through a circuit, you need to actually break into the circuit. It's different than measuring voltage. When you measure voltage, you measure voltage across something. Like say if we want to measure the voltage across the resistor, you know, I'm pretending my fingers were probes, we'd connect one terminal of the voltmeter there and the other terminal right there, and we'd be measuring the voltage. If you do that with an ammeter, you're gonna short out the circuit and usually blow the fuse in the ammeter. So what you have to do to measure current through a circuit is you actually have to physically break open the circuit. So if we disconnect one of these terminals right here, we broke into the circuit right between here and there. You know, we broke the loop. So now we plug in, I could take these little alligator clips off. I'm gonna plug this end of the broken loop into the current in on the multimeter. So that's the I terminal, which is down on the bottom there. So now current, if it was flowing, it's not yet, would be coming out of the plus terminal on the power supply, going into the I. It goes through the instrument, and then the current comes back out of the low terminal right there. So I'll get another clip. So now I'm gonna plug my other test lead into the low terminal. And then if we go back down to our circuit right here, I'm gonna take that test lead I plugged into the low terminal, put the alligator clip on it, and then bite the test lead, or bite the resistor lead with the alligator clip. So that now is a complete circuit again. So if we go see the results of our work, we can see we're measuring 9.5 milliamps DC across that resistor, or through that resistor, and that reconciles with the 9 milliamps we're seeing on the power supply right there. So note that there's more significant digits here. So this instrument's probably better at measuring current than this one is, depending on its state.